Hey everybody, I'm Barry Stokes. I'm the anchor for the Fox Sports Outdoors television show seen each week across the southern tier of the United States. I never in all my years of fishing and boating believed that I could be this excited about a trolling motor. Who gets that excited about a trolling motor? Well, I do if it's the brand new line of trolling motors that Motor Guide has just introduced called the X3 Motors. Now, I just returned from a grueling two-day fishing trip in some of the roughest water that you could possibly imagine in some of the toughest situations you could ever put a trolling motor through. This trolling motor, the X3, passed with flying colors. The first day was fishing in thick grass beds, hydrilla, milfoil, coontail vegetation, plowing through it for 10 consecutive hours. The X3 performance was unbelievable. I had as much battery power at the end of the day on the dial that I had at the beginning of the day. I was still running it on settings one and two right at the end of that day. And the second day, I fished in a river with a lot of current, fought that current all day long. And once again, the performance and the efficiency the battery saving efficiency of the Motor Guide X3 was unbelievable. That's just the beginning of the X3. I want to tell you about some of the other amazing features of this motor. And it all begins with a little pin system. Now, it's not going to be something you can see very readily here, but it's a composite square locking pin system. Now, they're right here. That pin right there doesn't look like much, but let me explain it this way. For all the years that I've been running trolling motors of all models and all brands, it's always metal on metal. You have a steel pin locking into either a steel or an aluminum bracket housing. Guess what that causes over time? Metal on metal causes noise on anybody's trolling motor. On the brand new Motor Guide X3 trolling motor, they've made this pin, number one, out of a composite material. It's not metal. Number two, it's square and it fits into a square groove on the bracket. Here's what happens. As that groove, as that pin sets in that groove over time, it becomes firmer and firmer and, and sets itself into the groove where the older the trolling motor gets, the more securely that composite square pin locks into that groove. This motor is absolutely the quietest trolling motor that I've ever run for that reason. Remember that terminology, composite square locking pins. Secondly, this trolling motor has a lower half that's made out of a composite material. It's flexible, it has a lifetime warranty, it has some flex in it so that if you're up in that shallow water and you either hit a rock, hit a stump, run up on the bottom of the lake, this shaft in the trolling motor will flex rather than bend and will save you lots of money over a lifetime of a trolling motor by never having to replace this shaft. But you still gain the strength of a steel upper shaft. So all of the upper housing here is made of steel, lower half composite, you get the absolute best of both worlds. Now the pedal is another piece of technology. The guts of this pedal are the high end components that you'll find in the Motor Guide Tour Edition trolling motors, the very top of the line. But they've put those components into a much lighter weight composite housing, which performs very much like the highest end motors at a much less price. So here's the way this works as well. When you're standing up on the trolling motor, you put your foot on that pedal on the foot control. Anytime the motor is going forward in about a 45 degree window, you've got a lot of control over it. But as you begin to put your toe down or your heel down, that arrow and the direction of the lower unit of this motor begins to move further, it moves faster. So the further down you press, the faster it moves, the further down your heel presses, the faster it moves back the other direction. It gives you more control in that narrow range where you spend about 80% of your day going mostly forward and then allows you to accelerate rapidly either left or right if you have to steer quickly around a stump or a dock or a rock or something like that. Uh, again, amazing technology built into an extremely affordable motor. These motors range in thrust from 45 pounds to 70 pounds and they range in price from about $400 to $600 at retail. Incredible value.
for the brand new Motor Guide X3 trolling motor. There's no way I can show you all the features of this motor right here in one little video, but I wanted to whet your appetite, give you some of the features and the best trolling motor that I've ever seen in a lower price tier trolling motor series. It's the brand new Motor Guide X3. You can see it at their website. Go to our website at foxsportsoutdoors.com. Click on the Motor Guide logo and see all the X3 motors that are available and on the market right now.